so basically today's focus will be user id and if you remember the firewall rule we configured before it they were all based on the ip addresses we either take an source ip address we take an a destination ip address and based on the source and destination ip address we define a rule on the palo alto firewalls and our firewall takes decision based on the ip addresses but it is very important that whenever the user is changing their location or their ip addresses are being changed then how you are taking a decision that whether this server or this services are being accessed by the same user rather than the ip address this case can be done with the user id authentication your firewall should be authenticating that who is the user so there are two ways to configure it but let me tell you that what i am going to do that in this lab so i have a set up a lab this could be your enterprise network all right and this is your firewall where your actual the network would be behind the firewall and i will set up a rule like this user who will be having an user of user a and this user who will be having of user b and he will try to access anything on the internet we can take help of like any of accessing any of the website or i can also take help of ping and ping google dns that is it dot dot edit so that's what i'm going to configure in this firewall and for that i will take the help of ldap that is our active directory ldap authentication it means that our firewall will be able to make it trust between the active directory server we can say the ldap server so whatever the user it will be requesting the first the firewall will identify that what user it is based on the database it is having on the ad server our local directory not local in fact the active directory and then it takes a decision whether i have to allow that user to go to the internet or not so i'm just taking example of going to the internet but in real environment it could be identified based on to accessing any of the server you want to allow them to access or not so be with me uh, for a short video and uh, i'm not going to tell authentication at all just i will take in another part just uh, i will tell you that how to configure the firewall rule so this is my firewall okay and uh, i will take a rule to configure a rule to allow these users to go to the internet let's go to the policies okay so currently i don't have any rule configured for it so everything is denied i do allow what i'm going to do i will just take uh, this ip address i can take two computers user a and user b but i want to show you that we even on having one single ip one of the user will be allowed to go to outside well other user will not be okay so on the firewall this is let me add a firewall rule general so i'm giving the name as an intent rule and that uh, firewall configuration like nat and all that i have already done and source address i am giving just one single ip 10.1.1.10 okay so this only one ip address is allowed as of now but normally what we do we just uh, allow any any uh, like let's say uh, let uh, let's not allow uh, this uh, so let's delete this for our example that will make you better understanding and i am setting up a rule that uh, user a uh, my domain is fresh developer that is basically i have done on the ad server so 
I will also be showing you on the next upcoming classes. And right now I do allow for the user A. Okay, fresh. Yeah, okay, spelling is wrong. Now it is fine. Fresh developer user. A. That's fine. Uh, user A, only user A is allowed to go to any destination. Okay, so my destination is untrust one and uh, application as any service url is application default and actions are allowed and i want to lock at the session start as well if i commit it okay and meanwhile let me log into here user a so i'm logged in at as a user a most probably okay this is user b okay so user b will not be allowed to go to the internet let me check on this this should also be user b okay so let me switch user on this user a and i will be using on screen keyboard for it by pressing control alt it because it does not work on my lab so i'm going to log in as a user a okay now this computer has been switched user as an user a and this computer switched as an user b okay so this is logged as user b and this is user a so now let's check out from the user a i will try to ping our google dns 8.8.8 .8 so it basically checks the internet connectivity whether we have the internet connectivity or not so we see that it is having the permission that it can reach up to the google dns while if i check it here on the user b it should not be allowed to go through because we have restricted permissions on the firewall we do not allow it to pass through our firewall it is request timed out and that's usual that's what we expected now if we want to go this user to the internet what we can do we can also allow user a here so in the user section i will add user b okay i just add it and okay and commit now if i check it from user b that will also be allowed to go to the internet that's fine you understand that how to set up the rule for the user identity that how basically the users will be allowed to go to the internet now the question comes that how to create these users right so there's two ways so one is like local users so you can go to the device and local user databases right you can create users another way what is i'm using right now i am using this active directory as a windows server right this one this year this is i think uh, opt in so let me use on screen keyboard to show you but uh, this is just limited here as of now and i will tell you in the next session that how to use or integrate this ad server in parallel Alto firewall that is going to be really interesting but i just want to show you that how i have created
So this is like our server manager, server manager that is Active Directory server. And if I search it here as an Active Directory and services, so you see that I have created users here, user A and user B. Okay, so based on these users, I'm logging it on. But uh, before logging these servers, these computers should be joined to that domain user a and user b and then this active directory should be in sync or this active directory should be integrated to the firewalls so i'll be creating a separate videos for that meanwhile i understand that uh, you know how to set up a rule in palo alto firewall based on the users and you see that how the users are allowed to go so i'll be recording another sessions for the Further LTAP authentication and how to join the domain. See you soon in the next video.